Hello once again everyone, this is Tommy Stevens with K2 Enterprises, and I welcome you to another in a series of technology tips. In today's tip, we are going to focus on two new data types that have been added to Excel. More specifically, these are the stock data type and the geography data type. Both of these were added to Excel 2019 if you are accessing Excel through what we know as a perpetual license these days. But if you're accessing Excel through an Office 365 subscription, you actually got these a little bit in advance of those who are using perpetual licenses. Uh, more specifically, these began showing up with the October 2018 version of Office 365. Now, with these new data types, you are going to be able to enter information such as geographic location, city-state, for example, and or stock ticker symbols, and Excel is then going to retrieve relevant information that pertains to the data that you enter. This represents really an, an entry into artificial intelligence being built into our Excel workbooks in the context that Excel is attempting to guess, if you will, the types of information you want to analyze inside your workbooks, and it's automating the process of retrieving that information for you. Let's begin with an example of a stock data type. Now, as you can clearly see on the screen, I've chosen to set up a worksheet that has a few ticker symbols in it, Apple, Microsoft, Delta Airlines, and some others. But what I really want to do with this information is learn more about the stock market performance of each of these companies. So what I could do is click on, for example, the Apple ticker symbol. And now, in Excel 2019 and newer, from the Data tab of the ribbon, as you can see at the top, I could click on Stocks. And when I click on Stocks, that is going to turn that cell, as you just saw, into a stock data type. But wait a minute, I'm going to need to do this for all of these cells, so do I have to do that on a case-by-case -case basis? Absolutely not. I'm just hitting the Undo key. Now I will select all of those cells click on stocks again, and we now see that each of those has been turned into a stock data type. I'll widen that column out just so we don't start bleeding over from one column to another, and now let's begin to explore the type of information we can retrieve. Notice in the upper left-hand corner of what is now cell B1, I have a little icon up there that indicates add column. When I click on Add Column, I see a list of the fields for each of these companies, each of these stocks that we're analyzing. Uh, here is a list of fields of information that I can pull into my analysis. For example, maybe I need to know the market capitalization of each stock or of each company, I should say. And so market cap has been brought in. Maybe I also want to know, for example, the price to earnings multiple. There's the P-E ratio, so I'm going to pull that into my analysis. Perhaps I also want to see maybe the 52-week high and lows. Uh, scrolling up to the top, there's the 52-week high. And then, of course, immediately below that is the 52-week low. Let's uh, shrink the spreadsheet down, bring in one more field just for good measure. And now perhaps I want to see the current trading price of each of these stocks, so I will click on price, and now we have that information brought in. Now recognize, once this information gets into Excel, as I like to say, it is just Excel data, meaning, of course, that we can do anything we want with it in terms of building formulas, etc., etc. But also what's very important to understand is that this information is actually linked into Excel. So, for example, this information will update as real-time trading occurs in whatever relevant stock exchange the information is being pulled from. Uh, more specifically, for example, in this case, this data is being pulled from the New York Stock Exchange. So as these uh, prices update, as any of these metrics update, we're going to get a, effectively what amounts to a live feed from the stock exchange directly into our Excel spreadsheets. Uh, almost live feed is probably a better way of saying that in that there would be a 15-minute delay as there customarily is. So that's a quick recap of the new stock data type. Now let's turn our attention to the geography data type. As you can see, of course, I have a number of states. Now these could be cities, these could be countries, various measures, if you will. But in this case, we're going to analyze state information. And I basically want and need to do the same thing with these states as we did with the stocks a moment ago. That is to say, I want to select each of the states or each of the geographic units is probably a better phrase 
that I want to analyze. I will then click Geography from the Data tab of the ribbon. That has now turned each of those into a Geography data type, and now I can begin to pull information in from each of those various geographical regions. Perhaps I want to pull the population in. Perhaps I also want to pull in uh, maybe the number of households. Maybe I also want to pull in median household income. And we'll just grab one more for good measure, persons per household, for example. And in this context, maybe I'm doing some type of analysis for voter registration, maybe some type of economic analysis on, the, on various states, regions, etc. The important, the larger point is, once again, I have information coming in through what effectively amounts uh, at, to artificial intelligence. This information is coming into my Excel workbook, and now I can do virtually anything in the world with it that I need to do with it. Just think about the time savings, not having to go out and manually look up or search for this information and key punch it into Excel and then continually manually update it, because remember, we have linked data in both of these cases. Now, one caveat that I would be remiss if I didn't point out is, obviously, since this data is coming from an external data source or sources, as the case might be, you do have to have a live Internet connection in order to be able to use the stock as well as geography data type. So there you have it. Two new data types, starting with Excel 2019, both of which many business professionals are going to be, find to be exceptionally easy to work with and very, very useful and relevant in their day-in and day-out activities. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope that you found this to be helpful. Come back and see us again real soon. We continually update this channel with new technology tips. Once again, thank you so much.